In this video, you are going to see the summary of our road trip number two through the vineyards of La Rioja. Even if you're not a wine lover, you will love the landscapes and beautiful villages we visit along the trip. Hola, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. The core content of this channel are our road trips, and today we are embarking on a three-day trip through the vineyards of La Rioja. It is the second of our initial list of 20 road trips through Spain. The first video is a summary of the road trip and it will be followed by one video dedicated to each day of the route. So in total the road trip is formed by the introductory video you're watching now plus three additional videos. You will find the links to all the videos on the description below and on the first comment too. Before we begin the summary of the trip we feel we need to clarify in some detail a very important term for anyone who is into wines and that is the term Rioja which in Spanish can have several meanings. First of all we have La Rioja which is a Comunidad Autónoma, an administrative division of Spain similar to a state in the United States or a region or department in other countries. As you will see shortly, only some parts of La Rioja produce Rioja wine. Then we have the term Rioja, identifying the lands where Rioja wines are produced. Rioja is a qualified designation of origin. Rioja is divided into three areas, Rioja Alta, roughly between Logroño and Aro, set entirely within the La Rioja Administrative Division. Then it's Rioja Oriental, occupying parts of La Rioja and neighboring Navarra. And finally Rioja Alavesa, two smallish pockets of land within the Basque Country and hence outside the La Rioja Administrative Division. During our road trip we are going to visit the winemaking regions of Rioja Alta and Rioja Alavesa. We will be crossing borders between La Rioja and the Basque Country several times. Those borders have absolutely no impact on your whereabouts. You will really notice you are moving from one region to another because of the signposts on the roads and because in the Rioja La Besa region there are two official languages, Spanish and Basque, and many signs are presented in both languages. Let's have a look at the map. We are heading to the north of Spain. It is a three-day round trip departing from the city of Logroño, driving through the winemaking region of Rioja we have just described and returning to the city of Logroño. On the route, it's all about wine and winemaking with quite a few other interesting places along the way. Here are a few more details of the road trip.
So this was a short summary of the trip. If you're ready to hit the road, click on the video with day one to get started on the trip. If you're new to the channel, take the opportunity to subscribe using the button that will appear shortly on the screen. And if you like the video, smash the thumbs up. Big thanks for it. We'll see you soon in another video with tips for a road trip in Spain or Portugal. Até mais. Hasta la próxima. See you soon.